Good afternoon guys. I'm going for a little mental health walk in Hyde Park because I realized I hadn't even left the house today and it's almost the end of the day and it's such a beautiful day and I wanted to take advantage of it but I've been frantically sorting stuff out. I feel like you're a bit dirty. I've been a little bit frantic today. I'm going to St. Martin's tomorrow. I'm so excited. I haven't been skiing in so long, like literal years. I'm going with my whole family, which will be so nice. Oh my gosh, this weather is absolutely amazing. Can you birds? I forgot it's the weekend, so around here people start feeding like the ducks and swans. Normally I walk around the pond, but it's a bit busy today. Booked and busy, these swans. Guys, it's almost spring. Daffodils are here. Wait, are you for reals? This is you're not oh my god i just didn't know you were walking out of there and walking down yeah. there and like wow it's gonna look amazing and they have a resident donkey and um i did not see that coming he's wearing flowers <gasps> he's so cute Anyway, that's all I have to say, but I just okay. want to triple confirm that you are actually up for this. Yes, triple confirming. I'm officiating your wedding. I have time to mentally prepare. It's We're going to work on it. Blown, it's going to be like, it's going to be full blown. I'm going to cry like in the morning, not in the ceremony or something. I, woo! Yeah, it's going to be, be, it? it's gonna be yeah, great. It's going to be great. It's going to be very cute. Okay, <laughs> talk to you at a late date. Bye. Bye. That was Estee triple confirming that I am officiating her wedding. Because I did say yes, by the way. I said yes. Anyway, I was just editing a video on my sofa when she called me. And I wanted to pull you in on that. So let me get back to editing this video, which is all about my new nails. Ooh, look how nice and shiny and claw-like. Good morning from St. Moritz. I haven't seen you in a couple of days. What can I update you on? So we've been here for a few days now and it has not been skiing weather at all. Oh, there's my alarm. Or a couple of hours before that, didn't I? It has not been skiing weather at all. Like you couldn't even see out the window. But today, let me show you this view. Today is a beautiful, clear, amazing day. And it's gonna be great skiing. I think we have all the fresh snow from the past few days of snow, which would be amazing, amazing. I'm here with my family. Pia came for a couple of days. She's now gone. Now it's time I am so over the moon about this let's go get ready for the day I have just done I'm addicted to this my zip halo it literally lifts and sculpts your face like nothing else I'll show you tomorrow morning because I actually just did it for a YouTube short if you've watched that already sorry whilst the camera acclimatizes to the bathroom but I do have a discount code if you really, really ever want to zip halo. I'm getting ready here because the lighting in the bathroom is not giving. I am so happy that today is finally a ski day. My mum's been very happy because she doesn't ski. So when it's not a ski day, it means that she can hang out with us. But today I think she's going to do cross country while we all go skiing. The slopes open at eight, but we kind of decided that that was a bit aggressive. And if you're going skiing at eight in the morning, you're the kind of person that brings like a sandwich in your bag. <laughs> we don't actually stop for lunch when we ski. We normally just stop for like a hot chocolate and like random snacks. Maybe today we will like stop for lunch and have, enjoy the vibes because it's so sunny outside. By the way, if you have not had a potato roasty before, now I do not discriminate against potatoes. Potatoes are one of my favorite foods. Anything potato, mashed potato, french fries, jacket potato, roast potatoes. I am here for all forms of potatoes. However, roasty is probably my second favorite form of potato. If you have not had it, you are missing out. It's literally, I'm gonna put it in a picture. It's like shredded potato that's like crispy and burnt on the outside and like gooey in the middle. Oh, it's so incredible and I have it every day here. Oh, this powder is so good. Get rid of my shine. I probably should not be putting on makeup to go skiing. Like that doesn't make too much sense considering I'm gonna have goggles on, but you know, when I get excited, I like to get ready. <laughs> should we do this little refi brow gel? A lot comes off on this, you know. Oh God, see, it all comes off. So you need to really take a lot of it off. But it holds the brows. I need to pluck my eyebrow. Oh, shit. Do you see what I mean by that? Oh. I need to pluck my eyebrows today. I need to sort those out. I need to wash my hair. But then I thought I'm gonna have helmet hair. So do I need to wash my hair? Rodial banana low lighter, always a tiny little bit. I can't see my face without this stuff, I really can't. The other thing I've been doing every single day here, which is borderline addictive, is going to the sauna. I think that needs to be a daily occurrence for me. That is like my new meditation. I absolutely 
am addicted to the sauna. Anyone else? Like, I genuinely think there's something wrong with me because I cannot wait to go into the sauna. And every single day, I'll now make time for going to the sauna when I'm here. So how do I do this in London? I think I need to like join a gym that has a sauna, but then I need to actually go to said gym. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm almost out of this and it's amazing. Ugh, I don't even know the color anymore. I need to find out the color. It's the Armani eye tint and I need to get another one. I just asked yesterday for my 400k TikTok giveaway, what you guys want to see. For my 400k giveaway on TikTok, I want to do like maybe three bags of all my favorite things. So if you're not following me on TikTok, go and follow me if you want to enter that giveaway. So I asked people like, what do they associate me with? So many people said so many different things. A lot of Tilbury, a lot of Patrick Ta, a lot of Armani. Let's curl these babies. I can't actually remember the last time I went skiing. I think the last time I went skiing, I had to leave after a day. And the time before that, I genuinely don't remember. I don't know if it's gonna feel weird to be on skis, but is it like riding a bike and then you just pick it up and you feel like natural again. Oh, my phone's ringing. I bet you that's my family group being like, time to ski everyone. Hold on, I was wrong. It was not my family group. It was my girls group. I'm wearing waterproof mascara today because I know my eyes are gonna run so much. The other thing I wanna show you, this lip liner is my new favorite. It's new from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Icon Baby. Oh my gosh. It's like slightly nuder and less red than Pillow Talk. I just have not stopped using this. Oh, now my family group is awake. So this is just Pillow Talk and now, I love this product. I bought it in New York. Maybe I'll put it in the giveaway. It's Makeup by Mario Nude Glow and it's kind of minty. So it makes your lips like tingle but in like a nice way. And it is so glossy and it lasts. Look how juicy it makes your lips. So juicy. Mm, I love it. Right, skiing. Guys, look at every single cereal option you can have in this hotel. Isn't this absolutely wild? Look at every, oh my gosh, what are these? Small hazelnuts, I've never seen a small hazelnut before. Have you? Cranberries, ooh, homemade granola. Wow, okay, then we can pan around here. Let's see what else we got. We got a whole table of bread, a whole gluten-free table, shout out, iconic. What's this table? Oh my God, more cereals, just in case you don't have enough. Okay, so these are like, more like um, Frosties and Honey Pops and stuff, that kind of vibe. Oh, cornflakes. We've got a whole table of, what is this, yogurts? Oh my gosh, a whole situ of yogurt and fruits and cheese, wow. Guys, this is the ski jacket of the day, except my pockets are so full because I want to bring my vlog camera, which isn't even in there, my film camera, my phone, my phone charger, that I look, I, this is not giving what needs to be given. This is not giving what needs to be given. It looks like I have a little bebe here, which is full of all my stuff, but I need to bring, oh, I haven't even packed a lip liner. Don't go anywhere without my lip liner. Okay, it is 9.12 and we are en route to the ski room to go ski. Question of the day is who copied who? Aha, I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and so she likes his coat. All right, let's go. Love how she has no reaction. Like that is a sister. When you pinch their bum and they literally just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> like, zero response. <laughs> I got new skis too, which ones are yours? They're head skis. Are those mine? Yeah. Oh. All right, I guess those are new ones. Cool. Okay, let's get going. Okay, are we ready to Day, everyone. Are you ready? Should we go then? Oh, what an absolutely stunning day. No clouds even. Oh my gosh, look at this view. Look at this view. It's the most incredible day. Wow. Oh, there's Han. Hi, Han. Hello, Han. Stopping for lunch, I take my music out my ear. It is such a beautiful day, I can't even tell you. We've been not up skiing. Oh, oh that feeling feels good. Ooh, helmet, huh? 
Oh, lovely. And there's schnitzel or fondue? Oh, a fondue! Love a fondue. You would love a fondue. Yeah. Let's go. Lunch time. Oh, there's a little Love. Guys, it's end of February. End of February, and they're singing Christmas songs. Can't explain this. Yeah, right. Dinner, Vincent, Dinner, 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 Yum! This looks amazing! Wow, this looks so good! Enjoy! This is actually what I was telling you about this morning, roshti. This is a perfect, perfect roshti. Look how beautiful that is! It's a work of art! And this is my little saucy song! Good evening, guys! It has been the most incredible ski day. So, so, so fun! And now we're literally all congregating, waiting for a taxi to go for dinner. We're going for quite a late dinner. But I wanted to show you my outfit in this little mirror. I actually have my mum's coat I stole on. Stole on with this new dual bag and then this is a little off shoulder top from Revolve which I'll link below because it's really pretty oh everyone's leaving without me and then my little belt which is also from Revolve jeans which are acne these loops okay we gotta go because everyone is leaving without me and in my family if you snooze you lose you know so they're probably gonna leave without me let's go <laughs> we're going to Cesavelia tonight for dinner Nice to meet you. People around have come from the middle. You're not expensive. I mean, I used to smoke. That point in the hall when no one has anything else. Hello, mother. Hello, Jessica. Good. What an absolutely beautiful tiramisu. It looks like pure cream. Dee 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 dee
Oh, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. It's good. It's good. Okay. What about this? What's growing on me? What's growing on me? Okay, we're going to try a cheesecake. That's a good cheesecake. You got the jelly layer on the top. Can you see? Oh my gosh. That's no, good cheesy. Not too cheesy. It's not too cheesy. Okay, none of them are back. I'm gonna finish all this by the time they come back. And then got, I'm gonna look rude. Can is back first. What did you Apple get? White chocolate crumble with on. vanilla sauce. No, vanilla sauce looks good. Vanilla sauce looks mad. And white chocolate melt. Wow. Okay, my mum's back. What did you get? What's that? Log sit. Apple strudel. Really? And tiramisu, tiramisu. with cream. I thought she meant something else. Oh. I didn't really want it wow, with cream, that looks just... good. Next plate. What is that? Chocolate tarte. Chocolate Wow, that looks really, it looks like it has like no, cereal amazing. on top or yeah. something. Yeah. What's that? White chocolate white mousse. White chocolate mousse. Everyone got white chocolate mousse and? Chantilly. Oh, the tea. What is inside? It looks so good. Thyme, ginger. Yum. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, snaps. A mini, mini one. Thank you so much. Perfect. Danke. Cheers. Cheers. Now time to nurse the food baby in the spa. Getting ready to go to dinner tonight. It's a fancy kind of dinner in the hotel. There's a two restaurants in our hotel. One is like very chilled and you could probably literally go in leggings and jeans if you wanted to. And there's another one which is fancy, like women cannot wear jeans, men have to wear suits and ties. And that's where we're going tonight. And the food is so good. I'm so excited. I just curled my hair again because after all the snow today, <laughs> that was just not happening and these earrings are absolutely incredible they're from the cot club i'll link them down below I'm just getting so many compliments on them every time i wear them i am flying to oh that's just my downloads on my ipad i'm downloading season two of scandal because i'm literally obsessed with scandal i'm flying to new york in the morning um and i need to sort out a little bit of this i get to new york i'm literally showering and changing and i want my clothes like quickly a bail so they're in here and of course my mum thought ahead and was like you're leaving really early in the morning <laughs> i've stolen you well not stolen but you know i always use that word like too loosely and people are like what are you talking about like obviously i didn't see that in the bag she's like i've taken things for you for food in the airport and on the way to the airport. So nice fat. How much fruit does she think I need? Two bananas, two oranges, two apples. Well, to be honest, it's quite a long flight. Loads of bread, but essentials. I love this room. It's literally wood from floor to ceiling. It's beautiful. And look at this, like fancy yeah, little perfect. butter options. It feels a bit weird to have a green salad in the mountains. Yeah, it is. That's what I'm having. It is. So what was everyone's favorite part of the trip? Playing a family game. Show everyone else an interesting photo on your phone. Oh my gosh, Show that to us. Oh, my mum riding. That's so cool. I'm just taking off my makeup. Such a fun day. My last day in sports. This is what I'm using. The Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Well, which I love. I just finished the rose one. Now I'm using the green fig one. I think I prefer the fig one, you know? Actually, that's a really tough call. I would like the fig in the morning and probably the rose more in the evening. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, 5 a.m. Might even be 4.30. We are going to Milan, but not to stay to Milan. We are going to New York. We're flying from Milan to New York. It is a long journey. We've closed a part of the motorway. It's going to be a four hour drive to Milan. Um, it's normally either four, three hours to Milan or three hours to Zurich and I'm going to Milan so now it's going to be four hours. And then going to New York from Milan which reminds me I actually need to check in. This has been such a special trip. You know what I feel? I feel really old because I feel like I'm now hitting that moment of like gratitude for like rarity things like family holidays or like hanging out with my family and I'm like oh this could be rare like I feel more grateful and I feel like I actually enjoy it so much more being older I have I feel like I have a different appreciation for things than when I would come on family holidays when I was younger and everyone's just been on great form there's been no arguments no disagreements no which to anyone that goes on family holiday I mean if you always have no arguments and disagreements and stuff I salute you don't know how that you do that but you know for any family with multiple voices, opinions, personalities, that can be a little bit rare. So to have 
a week of harmony when you're all together all the time is so beautiful okay i bought today in the pharmacy i bought these clarence self tan drops which i used to use back in the day and i really like them but actually i don't think they work when you just do them as self tan drops i think you actually need to like put it all over your face as a self tan which is what i'm gonna do tonight so we'll test that out in the morning it could be looking like an oompa loompa on the way to new york gosh this mascara is absolutely impossible to remove i'm so excited to go to new york so normally when I go to New York I do a little bit of online shopping in preparation I send it all to my friend's house and then when I get there I know I have like so many parcels to go through and I've done quite a bit I think I've got a revolve order I've got one from a really random Australian website I actually found on TikTok so many random things oh I need to go to Sephora I'm planning my 400k TikTok giveaway so I need to do that oh someone's calling me my sister. I need to come to your room. Why? Because my clip broke and I lost my other hair tie, so I need my hair tie back. Do you still have it? No, I don't. What? What do you mean you lost it? I'm so sorry I lost it. No. Don't believe you. I need my hair tie. Shame. I'm going to get my hair tie. Oh. Okay. Bye. I bought four hair ties to St. Moritz for. You know why? Because I know because I packed four. Where are all those four hair ties? Where did they go? Sorry, I haven't even fully taken off my makeup ever. Where did the hair ties go? So I borrowed my sister's hair tie and now she wants them back. And I have no hair tie. Where do all the hair ties and socks? There is a place in heaven for hair ties and socks that just disappear. Oh no. Daddy. Yeah? Sam, can you let my hair tie please? Oh no. <laughs> It's the only one I have. Same. No! I can't sleep without a hair. Same! Ah! <laughs> Neither of us are going to sleep! So you're not sleeping anyway. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I really have looked everywhere in my room for this stuff. What? I today. literally bought like 15 hair ties. And my clip just broke. Do you think I have a clip in my bag? You should. No, this is no joke. This is no joke. Like, where do all the hair ties go? Oh, I got really excited. Order scrunchy. <laughs> Not I cannot. This is a huge situ. Like, do you think my hair tie fell off on the ski slope or something? I'll tell you if I find my black one. If again. you find anything remote, if you find a piece of string, anything that will get this hair out of my face, you let me know. How do I have four makeup bags and no hair tie? Okay, I found a clip. So, all is not lost. My hair can be out of my face and I can sleep. I know you were stressed for me. A little clay de post and active toner. What else do I want? Oh, this Lancome Renegy Serum is just so brilliant. I've been through so many of those. What else do I want? I want some eye cream. A little Shiseido eye cream. Guys, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to see you on the other side in New York. I'll probably do a travel with me for YouTube shorts. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. And I will see you on the other side. Hello from me and my second home in New York. And this nail, this nail that just decided to pop off today. Does that look disgusting or what? Because it looks absolutely ratchet to me. How are you? I've had such a nice time in New York so far. I'm only halfway through my trip. I literally got here. I don't even know. It's now. Tuesday. I thought it was Monday today, but it's Tuesday. Went to Pilates this morning with Tam. I'm actually still in my Pilates gear because we literally just got back. And tonight I'm going to the famous Blue Ribbon Sushi. I'm so excited. We had the weirdest weather here. Not to be boring and talk about the weather, but it was literally like 20 degrees. So boiling. T-shirt and jeans. And then the next day it's like three degrees and raining. So it's a little bit confused. And today is a three degrees and raining day. I haven't done any of my errands yet. I haven't been to Sephora yet. I haven't been to CVS. I need to get some things for peeps in the UK, like Crest Right strips, blah, blah, blah. But I have had a few orders delivered to Tam's apartment. Okay, we're going to do a little haul. You can get these on Amazon in the US and they're amazing, especially if you're traveling. They're the clean skin towels. I saw them on an ad on Instagram and Tam had them in her apartment. They are so great. If you don't want to get your makeup all over towels, but you like washing your face with like a washcloth, I kept using Tamara's. So I ordered two boxes to her house. The other thing I really wanted to try, which I saw also on an ad on my Instagram, this is Loving Tam's new Platinum Express two hour tanning mousse. You couldn't get this delivered to the UK, I don't believe, because probably some ingredient is like not allowed in the UK or something. I'm not entirely sure why, but that's what I'm guessing. So I ordered it here. 
there because two hour express like a good express mousse is quite hard to find these shoes look at these they're dolce and gabbana i saw them in vista village a while ago and they didn't have my size and i've been tracking them and tracking them and tracking them online for like seven or eight months to see if anywhere was going to have my size and i found somewhere on sale that had my size so i bought them and i think they're beautiful especially because my favorite le boutons that are quite similar to that they're like lace are a bit battered and sad i'll put in a picture of what happened to them last time i wore them this skirt is from an australian brand whenever i shop australian brands which i love shopping australian brands i ship them to the us because in the uk you have to pay import this is perfect stranger i believe the skirt was around 60 dollars. oh 60 dollars exactly i got it dead right it's just a little gorgeous brodery anglaise skirt. Really easy to wear. And I also ordered the matching like corset top thing, which hasn't arrived yet. I got some pajamas, very, very useful. Eberge is like one of the softest pajama brands. And this is a little play suit pajama, like romper situation, which I think is just really sweet. Honestly, if you felt this, it's just so soft, so easy to wear. I got my favorite deodorant. I bought this in LA in Christmas. Salt and Stone, the Black Rose and Oud. It gets all over your clothes. I'm not gonna lie to you, you have to put it on last. It's really annoying. It smells really good and it's the only natural deodorant. I do find that actually masks scent. If I want a more heavy duty, I'll go for like a drugstore, like secret deodorant. I see all the US influencer girlies using these octo buddies have you guys seen these they're like the sticky things everyone has on the back of their phone i've got one that's reversible so you can stick it on your phone and remove it i know these aren't so good i know it's better when they're actually like glued to the back of your phone also got the ones that you actually like peel off and stick on the back of your phone this is like the original like sticky back phone case so excited about these because i find it really easy and if you're ever wondering what these random like octopusy things are on the back of people's phones now you know. I got this bubble cleanser. It says for the bath. I thought it was a cleanser for your face. We'll have to report back on this. I'm gonna try it today. And then do you remember my vintage Givenchy earrings? I lost them last time I was in New York. They actually fell off when me and Audrey were filming a TikTok video together. And within three minutes that I noticed they'd fallen off, someone had already gone and found them and picked them up, which is wild to me. Like it was literally less than three minutes that we realized. Like I walked across the street, realized they were gone, walked back across the street, they were gone. Anyway, I traipsed online and I finally found them. Not that exact ones obviously but the same vintage ones these are them and they're literally my most favorite pair of earrings so i'm so happy that i found them and i have them back i don't normally buy things twice if i misplace things or they get lost or whatever but these were really really special and i just i loved wearing them and then one thing i got that i actually was quite disappointed in that i think i'm gonna return this bag from hat attack i saw it on revolve but i ordered it directly from hat attack because the revolve is on pre-order and it looks really cute in pictures it looks like a bottega a raffia bottega bag do you know what i mean and then in person it arrived and it just looks a bit like it's okay it's not really giving the plump juicy factor that i wanted and it's almost a bit gray and i wanted it to be a bit more it's grayer in real life i wanted it to be like black and i wanted it to be like a cute little black summer day bag but actually it just looks flimsy, isn't it? So I'm gonna return that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear tonight because I think we're gonna walk to dinner. In other news, I've picked back up a really bad habit and I thought I kicked myself out of it and I haven't done it in so, 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 so long. It's literally a disgusting habit that I'm so embarrassed to even tell you about. But I did get hypnotized for it once and I stopped doing it and then I started doing it again during COVID. I haven't done it in so long and I don't know what came over me. The past couple days I have done it and it is so gross and it's like, ugh, it's really weird honestly, okay? I'm gonna tell you. I'm like embarrassed to tell you but you know, we share a lot of things, me and you. So here we go. I pick my skin on my nails. Like I used to bite my nails when I was younger and I don't bite them anymore obviously because they're really long apart from that one that fell off. I pick the skin around my nails and I pick it so much and I don't even realize that I'm picking it and I'll pick it and pick it and pick it and pick it, pick it until I look at my hand and it's like bleeding. And that is what, I did today and I haven't done it in such a long time if you watch my nail videos on TikTok or YouTube shorts you'll know that my nails are not normally like bleeding from both ends I don't know what came in with me today I must have been anxious or stressed about something but look at that that is so gross isn't it Urgh. and I started on that thumb too without even realizing that's a problem is that I don't even realize until it's too late and then I'm like ah what have I done my thumb is literally bleeding and then I have to like sorry this is even grosser then I have to like deal with the blood that's coming out my thumb. I'm actually embarrassed to tell you. Will I cut this out? I don't know. It's so grotesque. But if anyone has any tips for any fellow thumb pickers or just general pickers, like this is what I do. I'll just sit there and do this 
and I won't even realize that I'm doing it. And you know what? I wish I could see a correlation in my thought process when I'm doing it, or like what's actually happening when it happens, but it always, I always end up finding myself doing it too late. Does that make sense? It's really weird. Does anyone else have any habits like this? I wonder what it means. People are gonna tell me it probably means something like really bad. <laughs> but anyway, now I have to like wait for this to heal, but tomorrow recommended me an amazing nail salon in New York and they're super fancy and I'm gonna go tomorrow because I need to really sort these out. People keep commenting on my nails that they're giving claws and I like the claw vibe. Like I'm still gonna have long nails. I'm never gonna have short nails. I'm down to try somewhere friend recommended. It's a Russian manicure that do biab and build a gel. That's what I wanna try. I found it really hard in London to find somewhere that just does a Russian manicure and biab build a gel. So hopefully tomorrow I can fix these babies and apparently also they're quick. That's the other problem. Is that I don't wanna sit having my nails done for three hours. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Your body's okay. Really great. I can feel my abs. Lower your hips down. Stick my butt out. Now push up from the glute. Feel your glute with your mind. Lift it up. Now hold it down. You're going to get your knee forward. Now you're going to bend your back knee all the way again out. Good. Three, two, one. Uh-huh. Nice work. Back here for lunch. One of the favorite spots. Oh, so yummy. Look at the salad. Brussels sprouts with chicken. I love it. Yeah, the portion's enormous today. This looks so good. The giveaway shopping has started. Get ready, because it's coming on TikTok. Hi guys, we're back at home. I don't think I've ever vlogged in three different countries in one vlog. I don't think I have, you know? There is a first for everything. I did not vlog as much as I would have liked in New York. I did a couple of YouTube shorts, which you might have seen. I did like a kind of asmr -y type vlog. I got my nails done. I got a Russian manicure. You might have also seen that on YouTube shorts. Look at these nails, they're so pretty. I think they're the best nails I have ever had. And now I need to find somewhere in London that does them as good as this. I didn't vlog as much as I would have liked for multiple reasons. One of them being, I was there to look after a friend, which I won't go into too many details on. <laughs> Girls be girling, you know what I'm saying? I did manage to go to Sephora though. And I did manage to get some things for my 400K giveaway. Oh, I just hit 400K on TikTok if you don't know. So I'm gonna do a giveaway. And I thought about doing three bags of my favorite things for three different winners. So I'm kind of like collecting things, putting them together. I need to buy the actual makeup bags actually and there were a few things in Sephora that I would have liked to get but they were sold out of. So let me show you what I got because I got quite a few things. I got four things for myself and the rest for you. So if you're not following me on TikTok already, go and follow me on TikTok because you will want to enter this giveaway, let me tell you. So first I got this mini in the Isle of Doom. <laughs> I resisted everything in the Isle of Doom except this, the mini necessaire body wash. I haven't even smelt it to be honest. Oh, it smells so good. It's eucalyptus and I just knew I love eucalyptus. And I figured I'd travel quite a bit and having my own body wash would be quite nice. I also got the Patrick Tarshi's Humble Lip Liner because I actually ran out of it. This is my finished one. It doesn't click anymore. It's like a clicky lip liner and it's so good. It's nude, I got that. And Tamara recommended me this Sephora Gel Lip Liner, which is really interesting because I've never tried them before and I do love Sephora own brand makeup. And then this I finished recently. You might have seen me. I use it quite a bit in um, different Travel With Me videos because it's really small and easy. It's the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick in Baked. It's matte. However, on my cheeks right now, and on my lips, I have this Milk Makeup Cooling Water Jelly Tint. Look how insane that is. Oh, it's amazing. And it's like literally tints your skin. It's the best tint I've ever seen, I think. It's beautiful. I'm wearing the shade Chill, which I absolutely love. Like it's on my lips as well, and then I just put a gloss on top. I think it's incredible. Anyway, moving on to what I got for you guys. I got so many things. So firstly, obviously had to get Pillow Talk lip liner from C Tilbs. I also got everyone touch and hand sanitizers because I know you can't get these everywhere. And I got the Vanilla Blossom scent because I love vanilla. I also got my favorite little body cream. This is the Bomb Dia one from Sol de Janeiro. I love Sol de Janeiro so much. Oh, I also got a little travel size. Well, not really travel size, but I figured this size is the best size. The Carousel does elixir routine, which I love. I also got my Patrick favorite Patrick Tarte blush. This is She's a Doll. The cream and powder blush duo. I believe those are around like $40. So this is all like the start of the bags coming together. I think I need to order the rest of the things online. I kind of want to add some skincare in there. I think I want to add the Lancome Renergy Serum because it's so good. And then I really wanted to add like the Clé de Peau eye cream because it's really amazing. But I can't decide
of an eye cream is like kind of boring or maybe a Killian perfume or actually if you're watching this let me know what like specifically that I use that I love that you would want in the goodie bags because I read all the comments I put that I asked that same question on TikTok and I read all the comments and that was kind of what led me here brushes would you guys want brushes because this brush is my absolute favorite brush this clay de Poe foundation brush that would be really good or some, all my beauty pie foundation brush is really good too or the Charlotte Tilbury brush is another amazing brush Hollywood complexion brush I want the three people that win this to get it and be like oh my gosh I'm in Amelia's favorite things bag that's not even a sentence but you know what I mean like I want them to be like oh, this is everything I see Amelia use and love and like just know that everything in that bag is like sealed with a kiss of me oh, and then I was thinking maybe an MEJ clip or something I don't know I'm gonna end the vlog here because I just got back I'm going to a clay de po gala tonight so I'm gonna start a new vlog literally now so next week when you see me you'll know that it's literally like in an hour's time that I've started the new vlog I feel like this vlog's already got kind of long and I will see you next Sunday 9 30 a.m with another vlog love you guys hope you have a great week Mwah. bye